Hello there, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Allies of Convenience, the co-op multiplayer series where we don't care if we make the dumbest plays possible, as long as we actually win. Anthony joining you once again on a very, very happy stomach since I just ate a whole bunch of fajitas and they were amazing. Uh, as always, I have John here with me. How are you doing? Hey, doing all right, Anthony. You know, it was very cloudy there, but it looks like it's, uh... Uh, what's the phrase? Cleared up. Yes, cleared up. That's the phrase. Indeed. Right Indeed nice. it has. Even though it's boiling outside. Uh -huh. Whatever. Yeah, it's definitely nice out, but it's not going to be nice for this lion, because today we are returning for, to Kingdom Death, and we are going to be hunting another lion. Now, if you saw the last video, uh, there there were likely some rule, a lot of rules mistakes in there. There were two that I noticed. First, um, the monster controller should have been passed around between different survivors, uh, we did go back and try to fix that to the best of our ability, so instead of Lark having all the insanity, Deliria had one and Adnar had one, even though he's not showing up in this mission. Um, and then what was the other rule that we missed? Um, what was it? Shoot. What was it? Oh, yeah. Severe injuries. We forgot those existed, so... Albeit it kind of helped us, so... Eh, whatever. Made the series last longer, so... Anyways, uh, like I said, we are hunting a white lion, so I think uh, we're a minute and a half in, so let's cut the crap and get to the lion hunting. Would you like to be the first event reel revealer? Absolutely. And would you... Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. Uh, hold up. These cards... We. Um, I'm not sure how these cards ended up over here. I'm going to put these back in the deck and reset the setup. Whoa. Okay, let's try this again. I'm going to reset the setup. I must have taken those out to look at something earlier. There we yeah, go. We must have saved when we uh, when we took those out. Oh yeah, that too. We 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 tried this earlier. We kind of screwed a few things up, so we're hitting the reset button, or more accurately, I screwed a couple of things up earlier. Just for the record, if something usually goes wrong on this channel, unless it was John like playing serious competition, and making a a lapse in judgment in terms of something, assume it was my fault for things going horribly wrong. <laughs> I'm being serious. Anyways. It usually is my fault. Anyways, reveal the first event and which survivor is doing this, Ferris or Lark? Let's do Lark this time. Okay. okay. White, white lion, lion Cub. Okay, White Lion Cub. The uh, survivors find a White Lion Cub. They may choose to slay the cub. If they do, each survivor gains one random basic resource. The event revealers rolls the table below. Uh, do we want to roll a random event or do we want to kill a baby? Um, it's only worth one resource, so honestly, I say we'd rather we just leave the baby alone. Besides, I don't want to be marked as a horrible I would human. I prefer to spare the cub because I don't know if we want to. Do we want to start the showdown immediately? Yeah, no, I don't. I'd rather not do that. I'd rather experience the hunt phase and see what it's all about. So let's just spare the cub. Let's not kill a baby and be like a horrible person. What are you doing with that text box? I don't know. I clicked buttons, and then stuff happened. Can you, uh, yeah. reverse time? Let's try it. This is probably gonna end horribly. <laughs> that did nothing. Let's just ignore it. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's okay, roll... I, think... I will roll 2d10 to determine, okay. um, what, um, what it is that we do while you try to figure that uh, out. The white die is the 10s. The white die is the 10s. The black die is the 1s. 47? That's a 7. Okay. And... 47, you said? Yes. Alrighty, uh, 47. Banquet Here trees. We are 47. You do the narrating. Banquet trees. <clears throat> a small coat of trees rises over an otherwise lifeless plain. Enticing red fruit hangs from the branches. Each... Survivor must spend one survival to resist the temptation to consume the fruit. Insane survivors and survivors with bite binge eating disorder must consume. If any survivor has a sickle, they carve a line across the tree, drawing blood. The fruit instantly sours in this event. All survivors who consume the food roll one d Alrighty, what do we got? Uh, the addictive fruit savages your insides. Um, lose one survival and roll again on this table. If you had no survival, suffer two damage. Ooh. On a six up, you belch loudly and walk away. Um, um, it's I, either that or lose. Do, do you have to have a sickle, Anthony? 
Uh, I have darts and a founding stone. That is not a sickle, Anthony. Yeah. And I know um, I don't have a sickle. Well, we all have so, two survival. Um, I'm thinking about, um, you have I to... I prefer to so either you the survival and then just leave. Yeah, because if you um, consume it, there's a six-up chance. There's a half chance that you don't lose the survival, but otherwise you just spend one to guarantee that you don't take damage. And honestly, I'd rather if if it was later, I might be okay with taking damage. But based on now, we only have like armor in one or two locations. I'm just gonna take the survival and move on with my life. All right, then. <clears throat> All right. So okay. what? Now it is. That, you said so Lark was the you... Lark was the revealer, correct? Yes, Lark was the revealer. Okay, so Geraldus is now the revealer as we advance up the board. Sea of Golden Grass. Fields of Golden Grass lay ahead. The event revealer may choose to avoid the planes and roll twice on the hunt evade table before moving on the hunt board. Otherwise, each survivor gains plus one courage and the event revealer rolls on the table. Uh, one to three, begin the showdown immediately. The monster ambushes the survivors. 4-7, to seven, the survivors circle the tall grass lost, roll on the hunt event table. Uh, you pick up the trail on an 8-10, to 10, choose to move the, move the lion board or backward one space on the event board. Um, do we want to roll twice on the event table or gain one courage and roll on this table? Hmm. Well, one of them is starting the showdown immediately. Which is a one, about a one-third chance. Or three tenths. Is rolling on the event table anyway. Should, we, ju should we just do third. twice? Um, hmm. I wonder if maybe just choosing this is probably better. So, and then gaining the courage is also better. So plus one courage and roll on this table? I think that probably would be a good idea because it upgrades our guys. And also, I think these aren't as bad in all honesty. Okay, so go ahead and mark your guys for plus one courage, and I'll roll the result. As long as we don't roll one to three, we're fine, but knowing allies of convenience, which, by the way, I should mention, we had a bit of reverse of the reverse curse earlier because we finally figured out why I was hearing echo on some things, and it turns out it had something to do with John's headphones, so we got to do a little more digging into that, but we'll try to yeah, make sure he can use his headphones later. Um, just don't be a one to three. That is a one. Yeah. Well, oh. Well, they've ambushed us, so uh, let's begin the showdown, please. Uh, let's go ahead. We are going to set this up, and we will be right back. Okay, we're back. We got the board set up. We have the two tall grasses that's required, and I believe it says two random terrain features. Yep, so... Uh, we have an ore vein right here and three stone columns here, here, and here. White lines in the center of the board. As for survivor deployment, uh, Deliria and Geraldus are over here. The goal is to try to use the Geraldus and these two, and um, then Ferris and Lark to distract the lion while Deliria goes into its blind spot and tries to stab it to death. So, okay. yeah, I think that's um, whatever that is. Okay, so I think we are good to a uh, go in terms of this. So the monster turn. Now I gotta remember how to do this. Um. I know how to do it, I just don't know how to do it, if you know what I mean. So, I think we reveal an AI card first, if I'm not mistaken. I believe it would go goes first, yes. Oh, it's a mood already. Oh, great. When this comes into play, draw an AI card. Grass. The player suffers damage for any reason. Place one token on Blood Thaw. At the start of each monster turn, it. if it has plus three, remove all tokens and perform basic action. Oh! Well, that's pleasant. In Interesting, okay. Closest Grass. knockdown survivor in range. Nobody's knocked down. Closest, Closest survivor. survivor in range. Uh, everybody's uh, equally close. One, so you get two, the call. Three, so, um, Who do you want him to go after? Uh, go after... Here's the thing. Ferris, he has no, more no, no, armor. Oh, Ferris, yeah. Because if you move there, I can move down here and then hit him in his butt. So that's his blind yeah. spot. So, um, one... Two, three, four, five. Boop. Okay. Face. Grasp. I don't know how that okay. got checked. 
The white lion isolates its play. Full move. The white lion. Oh, what? Okay, so first. Oh, this is after damage. Okay. So move and attack. So do your attack. It's one die and it's a two plus accuracy. Okay. One die. Where's the die? Oh, dice are over dice. here. Oh, you found one over there. Oh. There's dice... Over there, I'll do it There's dice all over the place. Right. You can never have enough dice. Tis true. And that's why we are servants of the dice gods. Hail them. Even though they kind of screw me over. Uh, that's, Six, that that hits. hits. Um, now roll the hit location. Damage. Where does it hit is the question. And that hit is on the body. Uh, could, why couldn't it have been the waist? Also... Why was the brain damage also, check? Also, um, Ferris takes takes, takes insanity because... So he's, so he's at two insanity. All oh, right, two, right, yeah. Okay, so now that was the AI card. Why would it be two identity? He already had one from, um, so he would Oh, wait, you're right. He does only have one. My bad. I thought he already had one okay. from the thing we mentioned earlier with last game. Yep. Um, yes, um, place target. Okay, so grab. Oh, boy. When, after damage, the white lion isolates his play. Full move the target away from all threats. Target suffers grab. Okay. So it moves this way. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Target suffers grab, so it's there, and it's knocked down. So he suffers one damage, roll the hit location. Or monster level, yay. Please roll waste. The waste. Head. That's head. That's not good. Alrighty, um, so now... I'll technically target him, I guess. That is the end of the monster turn, so now I believe it's our turn? Am I missing anything? I believe... No, I think that's it, yeah. Alrighty, so, um, who wants to act first? Um... Because he stays down until the next monster turn, so. Yeah, that she does. That first does. Um, I believe... Wait, does Lark have Lark, a... I... Lark does not have a ranged attack. Ooh. He doesn't have a ranged attack outside of the Founding Stone, but I don't know if I want to spend it this early. Yeah, because you all you have left is your fist and tooth. Uh, how how about um, you? How about just try to get just it? Move closer. Yep. Meanwhile, I will move Deliria into position, and then Geraldus is just gonna sneak up from behind, stay out of range, and one, two, three, four. He is one five away. So my range, my bone darts have a range of six. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and attack with lay bone darts. Wait, what you is this? roll one, you gotta be. Okay, what? that I just I saw something on the headband, and I'm like, what does this do? Reels the top two AI cards, and but that's only if that's only if we have an affinity for that, and we don't have any affinities yet. So. Oh yeah, we don't. Yeah, right. Um, so, uh, Bone Darts. For the future, though. Yep, Bone Darts, uh, seven, hitting on seven plus. Please actually roll the dice. Ooh, three, it fails three. three hit. Uh, so then Ferris is downed, um, that seems, is, is it just weird? Is, is this seeming to go a lot quicker? Uh, suppose... Maybe? I think that's everybody, because, uh, Ferris can't, or not Ferris, yeah, Ferris can't do anything. Uh, Geraldus and yeah. attacked and missed. And then Deliria and Lark can't do anything, so I think it's on to the monster turn. Oh, wait right. a minute. Um, when a the survivor suffers damage for any reason, you suffered one damage to the body and then a damage to the head, correct? Yeah. Um, I'm just trying to figure out here, what can we use? Let's just place bleeding tokens over on Bloodthirsty. Oh, right, yeah, I just, yeah. That would do, I probably, yeah. Uh, I'm not looking forward to <laughs> it. Um, so now, it is the AI turn, I believe? Yeah, I believe. And, okay. uh, Lark is now the monster controller. Monster controller, We're not gonna right. screw that up this time. What is the card? Yay, reveal card. Back around, closest threat, facing in range. That would be Lark. Oh, God, as if he needed... Yeah. He did you not see what happened last time? He developed an irrational fear of lions. Yeah. He's... Lark is, uh... He's, uh... He's cloth, let's just say that. <laughs> oh, there's nothing underneath it. It's just going straight down. 
And that's why the lion is attracted to it. It smells the Oh, God. Oh, uh, Jesus. Let's see here. It's a... It's a... It's a... Okay, they suffer brain damage equal to the month... What? Wait, why? Where are you... Oh, that's something... Oh! That's after damage, though, but The monster playfully hit. bats! Okay, that- No, no, don't attack yet, don't attack yet. Don't, don't attack- Hold on, don't attack yet, we gotta move him first. So, the closest threat All in right. range- Or, no, closest threat facing in range, there's nothing. Closest threat in field of view is him, so he goes- He backs up one, rotates. Too bad this lion actually has courage. Wizard of Oz joke, <laughs> even though I hate lion. that movie. You hate the Wizard of Oz? I don't know. Something about it just irks me. Maybe hate isn't the right word. I don't know why. Oh, uh, that's a nine. That's a seven. That def those definitely hit. Oh, my God. Yeah. Seriously, on this channel, oh. I've already mentioned I don't like Harry Potter, and I'm not a fan of Wizard of the Oz. The comment sections are going to light me up for that one. Indeed. Okay. We have body and body. Great. Oh, so Lark is knocked down and he now suffers a serious injury on the body. Uh, go ahead and roll this. Not heavy injury. Oh, wait, that's waste. Heavy, not heavy, but heavy injury is knocked down. Yep, so you have to... Oh, wait, you could dodge, I think. I. One second, I'm going to look something up. Okay, I'm looking this up. Uh, thank God for the Kingdom Death Wiki. They are really helping. Uh, when a survivor is hit, after rolling a hit location but before damage, they may spend one survival to dodge, canceling one hit. The dodged hit becomes a failed attack roll and does not cause damage. So then I could spend the survival to dodge. Yes, yeah, so you're going to do that? Heavy injury. No, it would, you, there's two body hits, so you'd still take the heavy injury and you would still be knocked down, but you just wouldn't take the severe hit. Cause, but I wasn't damaged on the body with Lark. Oh, you weren't? Uh, oh, so I was you don't... damaged on the body with Ferris. Okay, I'm mixing your guys up. Whoops. But uh, Lark is still knocked over. Knocked no, he's not. Down because, no. yay. Also, Ferris isn't. Not Ferris yet. Is thankfully not yet. Um, um, oh, you suffer one right, brain damage. Up. You suffer one brain damage, so you lose an insanity. But I did gain an insanity thanks to Monster Control. Also, Look. oh yeah, you did. Also, playfully bats. Why? Playfully this... bats. Yay. This game is this game is dark, but it's also just weird. Like I, like I said, this is like Dark Souls meets Monster Hunter. Right. So just... Ferris is now standing, and let's stab yes, this lion standing. to death. She's um, gonna have a a grand day, a great day off. If you know um, what I'm saying. Okay, so. Um, the Bloodthirsty is now active, so that's gonna suck. Oh, yeah. Uh, who wants to go first? Uh, I suppose I can, because really my plan is just, um, stab it in the face. Yeah, fair point. Does that work for you? Yeah, just move up one. Oh, wait, wait, you can move into its hindquarters, stab it there, so that way it's, you're at its blind spot. That'll do, yeah, probably. Hold on, I'm gonna check the rule of blind spot. Um, hold on, I'm gonna look this one up. Three weeks later. Also, can I just say I love the lore stuff that they have for these? What do you mean? Like, that is creepy and disturbing, but intriguing in all the right ways, the backstory for the White Lion. Uh, let's see. Uh, do you mind reading it out? <clears throat> there once was a beast that wanted to feel how soft its fur was. Since it could not reach its own back, it killed many other creatures and spent time rubbing its paws over them. They say, when the monster finally killed a human, it fell in love with their soft hair and, and its paws grew into a pair of fine human hands. Um, okay, that's definitely both creepy and weird. And also, I just noticed there's a head with spider legs over here with eyes coming out the back. I look forward to fighting this thing, whatever it is. I'm not sure what I'm going to have to censor in this in order to get past YouTube, um, YouTube because that could be considered gore. I don't know. Like, this game is really pushing the line, but hey, it's fun. It is fun. Okay, so blind Anyways. spot. Survivors in the monster's blind spot are out of field of view and gain plus one accuracy when attacking. When a survivor is in the monster's blind spot, they are still considered a threat for the purposes of monster targeting. 
Okay. Yay. So, in other words, the uh, number that I need to meet is meet. Meech. Meech, what is this, chowder? Meech. No, um, As if we needed so, to worry so about really... the lion, now we gotta worry about the Meeches coming to maul us. It's the it's the secret it's the uh secret uh, sequel to uh, the Sneeches that uh Dr. Seeks uh, never pulled up one about. Oh boy, here we the go Meeches. with that. Jesus, we pulled out two non board game references in, or like th at least four three or yeah. something. Six ups, one misses, two hits. Uh, that's Two hits. Okay. Misses, Let's see uh, what the hit location. locations are. Uh, the strange location head. Strange Whoa. hand. Ooh. And uh, 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 beast scalpular deltoid. Uh, what do you want to do first? Let's. They're do, both failure let's effects, get, and we're not going to get that wrong this time. Let's get this deltoid out of. Let's get this deltoid thing out of the way first. Okay. So. Make, wait. Wait. Stop. It's all. Um, it's toughness. Actually, um, actually, I'll go for the strange hand first because otherwise, I know that on failure to damage the scalpular deltoid, that'll negate my other attempts. Before you do and that, I don't I, want that, before you do that, I want to look something up quickly. Uh, where's survivors? Here we go. Um, I just wanted to make sure that we get the um, attacking correct. Um, where is it? Where is it? Showdown phase, here we go. Sorry, everybody, for the constant looking up. We're still new to this game, and we are uh, yeah. trying to get a feel for how all of this works. Yeah, um, knockdown and standing, survivor's turn, here we go. This is probably what we're looking for. Wait. Um, yep, um, uh, wound steps, okay. Okay, okay, we're doing this right. We're doing this right. So which one do you want to go after first, the hand or the deltoid? Going after the strange hand, because I know that if I fail to hit the scalpular deltoid, then both of my attacks are canceled. I oh. don't want that. So, no, you only roll one die, and you have to, let's see. Let's look, okay, so give me a chance, give me a second to think here about this. So the bone dagger has a strength of one. One. Let me make sure and I'm doing this right. Um... Weapon strength, which is one. Survivor, do you have any strength modifiers? Strength modifiers. Not from what I can tell. Yeah, so you have to hit on a 7-up. You wound it on a 7-up. But what about accuracy stuff? Accuracy? Uh, no, the accuracy is what you need to hit it. The strength is what you need to wound it. When I get a boost to accuracy, though, they don't get a plus one to my roll because I'm in blind spot, though. Oh, then, no, accuracy is for hitting, so you would have hit on six up, which wouldn't have mattered, so it's the strike that determines the, uh, if the, uh, hit actually wounds. Oh, okay, I see, so that was for the first bit, not this. Yeah, one. so, okay. um, it's... seven up. Rolling! That's, That's a, a one. one. That's a failure. Failure. Uh, perform uh, basic see. action targeting the attacker. Basic action, rolling a, two dice for that. Wait a minute, closest survivor in range. Uh, he turns around. Now, fair. Uh, Lark is in his me. blind spot. Yay, rolling two dice. It's gonna exceed a two. Please fail. Never mind. That didn't happen. Okay, roll the damage locations for Ferris. What is she gonna suffer? Here, uh, just throw this in the discard pile. She's going to suffer going to the principal's office. Hey, you can multi-select, I just noticed. Yeah, I, I'm glad. I hit another body, and I'm knocked down again! Uh, body, you're knocked down, and you suffer a waste. Yep. Talk about I'm waste of an attack! Knocked down again. I see Anthony. that joke went right over your head. Anthony! Hold on, we got another me, thing we gotta please. deal with, I think. Can you help me, please? My you, eyes aren't, you still have, aren't you, hitting this lion. You still have the scalpular deltoid. Kim, I'm knocked down, though. But, um, if I'm not mistaken, the, the hit still goes through. Uh, let's look this one up. We'll be right back. Many months later. Okay, we're back. Uh, the second hit location just got discarded. King, the Kingdom yeah. Death Wiki and Reddit are quickly becoming my best friend. 
they're both collectively becoming your best friend. Exactly. Um. So that was that. Uh, Deliria. Can so, I... uh, Lark is still knocked down. Ferris is now knocked down. Uh, Geraldus <laughs> will take a pop shot quickly. Please, and... please, please help. Please uh, help. I don't have any accuracy bonuses, unfor unless. Nope, I don't have any accuracy bonuses. So seven up. Yeah, what? Never oh, it became a nine. I thought it was gonna be a one. Oh. I thought it was gonna be one too. Nine. Thank you, Orvain, for making it skewed. So, uh, let's see what the hit location is. The beast's tail. Beast's tail. Uh, so the toughness is eight. It's three, so I gotta get a five up. Please. It's a six. I got a six. Yeah. So what That's is? It's a reflex though, so that happens regardless. Full move, all survivors now suffer grab. Um, okay, so, so but we get rid of a- Full move toward forward in a straight- Full move forward in a straight line, cancel all- Full hits now out of range, any survivors passed over now suffer grab. I've already- So wait, hold on, let's look that one up, we'll be right back again, sorry about this. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting, and they had to hire a new one. Okay, we're back. We couldn't find a conclusive answer on it. We are assuming that knockdown survivors can be affected by grab, but correct us in the comments if we're wrong on that one. So It does say any survivors as that... Um, oh, yeah, that would definitely be a good indicator now, wouldn't it? Okay, if, so... If it said if it was indicating threats, it would probably say any threats. Probably. That's a fair point. Uh, it oh, good head. On... Oh, that's severe injury. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, roll a die. Oh, great. Um, hmm, uh, hmm, uh, head. Uh, uh, let's hope, uh, I see two things that, that involve me dying, and I would prefer that neither of these things happen. Anyways, um, rolling head. Let's hope I don't, my Ten head doesn't plus. explode. Ten plus. Yeah. Ten! That's a, oh my god, it's a Ten. If you had plus three courage, you bloody spit out the tooth and gain plus two at Sandy. Otherwise, the blow says you're sprawling and you are knocked down. I'm already knocked down. Well, looks like you and that lion are playing hockey. I've been knocked down. <laughs> That's the third time in one single reflex action that I've been knocked down. Can I just say that? Wait, oh like, my. How do you get knocked down three times in a single. Oh my. Hey, at least you well, did. Not, like, it's like, it's like, actually, it's twice. I was just knocked down beforehand, and now I've been knocked down twice again. No, but wait. I think it doesn't. Ref but I'm fairly certain it doesn't refresh. Oh yeah. Because I'm knocked down because of the grab, and I'm knocked down because of the uh, because of destroyed tooth. Oh yeah. But anyways, I think you still have Deliria to move. Ah uh, yes. Oh yeah, cuz I shot him. Um yeah, anyways, yeah, uh oh wait, that actually works cuz now I'm in the I'm in time quarters. You almost died, Aim but it worked. Lion rump. You know, you for that lion rump. You almost died, but it worked. <laughs> all a part of the all according to plan. Seven ups. Please. Good soda. Damn. Damn it. All righty. Damn it, damn it. Just stay right. It is now the monster turn. Uh, oh, wait. Yeah, don't forget about Bloodthirsty. Oh. Start of each monster turn. Basic action. Uh, closest survivor in Field of Root. That's me. Now, Actually, uh, wait. hold on. I want to. Yes. Yeah. I don't think the tokens are taken. Oh wait, yeah, it does. Um, density. Yeah. It went so when I'm knocked down, I undo that at the end of uh, the monster phase. The yes. Monster phase, or is it the beginning? It's at the end. Okay, so that's. It's at the end. So, so then it's you, I think. Does it say threat or? No, it's just close to survivor. Never mind me. Um, it's attacking Ferris again. Yeah, but I'm looking something up regarding mood cards. <laughs> Attacking Mrs. Bueller for the fourth time in a row. Um, not fourth time in a row, but for like. Long time. 
Um, I'm looking up something here regarding that mood card, if it gets discarded or not. Okay, I guess there's not really anything. Um, so I think if this stays in play... I think, correct us if we're wrong, but I think this stays in play and continues to accumulate tokens. And if I'm not mistaken, um... Oh, we'll figure this out. We'll figure this out. So it also doesn't. It also doesn't say remove it. It just says remove all tokens and perform basic action. Yeah. So basic so action. But the question is, do we, Ferris again. do we still draw an so, AI card? Yeah, I know. Um. Well, we'll deal with this in the. Whoa. Oh, great. Lark right over Lark. Sorry. Also, the well, white lion goes after so Deliria. No, it goes after Lark. It goes after Ferris for the basic action. No, it's not a threat. And it's also close to survive. Closest survivor. It does it, I in thought, field of view in range. It ignores uh knockdown survivors since they're not a threat. Yeah, it was Ferris again. I don't want it to be Ferris, trust me. But yep. that's just how it'd be. Yep. Okay, so these also, two heads. By the way, this I think uh, moves off of Lark to you, I think. Yeah, it would have. Uh, yeah, it would. It would move to Geraldus. Geraldus. So, uh, you have a three and a six, so both of those unfortunately hit. Are you recording? Yeah, I'm recording. I started recording the moment you said you didn't want it to be Gerald or, um, not Geraldus, uh, Lark, or Ferris. Eric. Alright, so, uh, damage. Wait, please, First one. God, be wastes. That's body again. That's, that's another a, severe injury. And you have another damage. Severe injury on body. Please be a 10. Uh, I don't know if any of those are good, though. Just don't be instant death. Please, God. What is it? Three. It's a three. What is three? Three. Gain two bleeding, bleeding, Gain tokens. bleeding tokens. Now, what do bleeding tokens do? I don't remember. I know. All I know is if you gain five of them, then um, you're uh, you you you, you let die. Well, let's let's do what we usually do. Looking up. While you do that, roll the other location. Oh God. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's arms. Okay. So basically, uh, you they do nothing unless you have five or more, then you just die. Yeah. Uh, so now the question is, do we draw an AI card with Bloodthirsty? I'd assume... Uh, hold on, let me actually look this one up. We'll be right back. Yes, actually. Okay, we're back. We figured out Bloodthirsty stays in play. We also figured out that last game we screwed up something regarding the AI deck taking damage. Uh, we're hope we're not we're we'll bring we'll not we're not going to mention it here. I can't speak all of a sudden, so we'll just go along with this. So Bloodthirsty, uh, it did its action, and did we ever find a solution to it drawing an AI card? I would assume that it would draw an AI card. Well, let's take a look. I saw so something about doing that instead of drawing an AI card. Um. Oh, they modify the behavior, so I think it's still a standard AI card draw. Claw, closest yeah. threat. Okay, now there's the threat. Okay. Yeah, see, now it attacks um, Deliria. Deliria. Here's Johnny. Yeah. Alrighty, go ahead and roll it. Two dice plus two accuracy. Uh, you're the monster controller, you get it. Oh, would you look at that? I have to do stuff. Making me yeah. do stuff. <laughs> How dare I? Uh, that's a three, and that's an eight. Oh, boy. Uh, it's got to beat a two. Yeah, two up, so I take two damage. Where are those two damage going? Uh, uh, look... Waste and arms from Deliria. Okay. Um, okay, so... That's the lion's turn. So, up, I took a damage. Well, Wait, I took a damage, two. and... It yeah, so it's at it's at its max, I think. It would have four technically, mm -hmm. but I don't think it matters, so. Uh Ferris now stands up and is in the blind spot. Okay, yeah. Would you like to stab yay. away? I'm stab I'm gonna stab him. Okay, so you get three don't dice. You doubt it. 
I get three dice. Speed. Please, God. Eight. Uh, nine. Four. Nine. Eight. So you got two okay. hits. No, wait. Plus one accuracy. That doesn't matter. So you got two hits. Yeah. Hit locations. These heal or... Oh. Wait, hold on. I want to... Because it... You technically, with plus one the accuracy, you... all the attacker's hits and ends their attack. When a trap is drawn, a knockdown monster will stand. Hold up. But... Hold up. I'm... I... You rolled a, a nine, but with plus one accuracy, you might get a... T you might have gotten a ten. I'm going to look this up while you're reading that. Anthony. Yeah? The, cl the trap is in play. That cancels all other attacks. Yeah, but I'm talking about the effect on your bone dagger. That wouldn't matter, Anthony. Yeah, it would, because that happens before effects are um, triggered from um, cards. The result of a lantern 10. That's a 9. Yeah, but it, with the accuracy plus 1. It says lantern 10. That's what I thought. I just wanted to make sure. I'm not trying to be that, but I'm fairly certain this game is gonna be merciless. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, I think so. So it has to be a natural 10, it looks like. So, clever ploy. Yeah, the attacker is caught in the wild white lion's ruse and is savagely mauled. I'm doomed, apparently. Uh, whatever. Well, let's look that one up. I'm not sure if that's a specific term, like it is in Descent. Forgot, forgot what that does. That's what I'm looking. Uh, the indicated survivors may not spend survival until this card is resolved. Uh, good. Uh, perform basic action, target the attacker. Oh, good. It, it's just attacking me again. Um. This is just a riff on, this is just a riff on the Ferris Bueller's day off, in it? Oh my god, those jokes are gonna be rampant. Um, okay, so, uh. Basic attack. Two plus. Please roll at least a one. Please be a one. Please God be one. It's a two hits. Nine. Go ahead and roll the um. Hit hit locations. Go. The arms, arms and the legs. And legs. Knock down. Knock down again. again. Great. Uh, it just so keeps falling over. Now. Oh <laughs> and now, uh, Deliria also... will go ahead and attack. So bloodthirsty is in play. Uh, next turn. That's next remember turn. that was um, that was Ferris that attacked. Remember? I know. I know. It's just it's in play next turn. Oh yeah. Which means she, which means she will get attacked again. <sighs> Great. Uh, Deliria will go ahead and stab with the founding stone. That's two dice hitting on sixes because accuracy bonus. And it. Matt, that's a didn't one matter. and a seven. So one hit. So that's one hit. Uh, beast flank. Uh, let's see. Uh, so I need to get a seven or higher. God. Got the seven. It's, it's seven. Yes. Okay. That's uh, one damage. I get priority target though. Wound gets priority target. Does that does it, that mean it faces you? Uh, it, no, it means know. that if it means that if I if if it has to declare a target, it has to go for me. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Let okay. me double check. That's good. Well, you well you do do your stuff with Lork while I look this up. Uh. Ladies and gentlemen, this move. is why it's great to have two monitors. Moving Lark over here. That's about all they can do because I don't know if I want to throw my founding stone yet yep okay so whenever a monster performs a pick target action the survivor with the priority token will always be picked then the token is removed and oh wait so what yeah the token is removed when the survivor is picked so now Geraldus is gonna go one two three four five and try to tranquilize this thing with its darts hitting on a seven that's an eight. That's I an eight. So that hit hits. Hit location. Beast's elbow. So that's 
So uh, I have a speed or I have a strength of three, so I need to get a five up. And I got it with a seven, a so seven. no failure effect. You're not knocked down again. Right. It's another wound. Excellent. Okay, now we're making some progress. However, the bleeding tokens. I think um, we only need three bleeding tokens, essentially, so... Yeah. So, in all honesty, adding more doesn't really do anything, to be honest. So. Yeah. Whoa, that's the wrong button. Yeah, that, okay, so... Uh, it performs basic action, so it targets me. Hi. It's priority target. And then I get remove. I remove the token. And then it attacks me. Uh, basic action. Deliria would have been the monster controller. controller. So plus it one insanity. It targets you, so you gain an insanity. Yep. Um. So two plus. Please roll at least one one. Please God. Critical That's effects. A 10. Critical effects aren't a thing with monsters, I don't think. So, what are my two hit locations? Yeah, it doesn't have anything for that. So, at the very least, so you know. And the hit locations are body, body and, legs. and legs. Light damage. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna. No, I'm not gonna dodge. I'm not gonna dodge either of those. I could say that this tiger is a real. This lion tiger. This lion's a real leg bender. I couldn't hear yeah, that. I, I couldn't hear that. I actually couldn't hear so, you. So you could say this lion's a real leg bender. Huh? Yeah, no, it's not good. Yeah, moving on. Um, Anyways. Uh, now, let's see. So now the AI card, and I suffered two damage, so Bloodthirsty is continuously going. Because screw Lock logic. AI. Uh, ooh, ooh, yep. Ooh, okay. Terrifying roar. It's oh, hard. not oh, this no, again. Survivors. Oh, well, non-deaf survivors. Really wish I had gotten deaf there. But that's for... Yeah, we have insanity. Fine. We're fine. Uh, if the result is 2+, <laughs> um, I'll, well, let's go in player in controller order. So let's start with Deliria. So and on a 2+. plus, it's not back 6, which is worse. So I got a 9. So I take a brain damage and get knocked back 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, now Ferris. Rolling for Ferris. Two. That's a two. Loses an insanity in one, two, three, four, five, six. Or do you want to go to the other way? Do you want to go the other way? One, one, two, three, four, five, six. That'll do, honestly. Okay, now uh, Lark. Stomach down. Yay. Honestly, I hope he does not get flung back. If Geraldus gets flung back, it's not the worst thing in the world because obviously. Rolling um, for Lark. Please, God, be a one. Can we get a one on there? That was going to be a one, and That's then, a oh. Seven. And then it taunts us with a one on another die. So right here. And you lose an insanity. Meanwhile, Geraldus. Ugh, I'm going to be taking brain damage. I'm going to be taking that no matter what. That's an eight. This is one Unless, lucky hold on. kitty. Hold on, I'm going to check this. After rolling hit location dice, yeah, I can't. I don't think I can stop that. This is one lucky kitty. Can I just say that? Yeah. Um, perform basic action targeting the furthest survivor in range. Oh, uh, nobody's in range. It just sniffs. Uh, survivor in range. Nobody's in range, so it sniffs. Now what does, is... it, does it sniff? Yeah, it, it sniffs. doesn't sniff. Read the basic oh, action. Oh, right, does it perform basic action? All right, sniff. Uh, the white lion sniffs the air and ends its turn until the next round. All survivors are threats despite any effects that say otherwise. Oh. Yay. Ferris is now standing. Uh, that's something. For, uh... There's For a, a whole ten seconds. A whole ten seconds. I'm just gonna... Hmm, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna... Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, do. I'm gonna make... Like... The angry beavers, when that giant sentient body of water was chasing after them, and run! What? What? What giant the angry beavers? Am I missing something? It's an angry beavers episode where they were chased after by a, chased after by a giant body of sentient water. Because it didn't want to get damned. Okay. Um, 
I'm gonna. Th I think I'm gonna do something. Reference, you get to reference Fairly Odd Parents. I get to reference Angry Beavers. Wait, did I reference Fairly Odd Parents? Yeah, with the creep. Oh, whatever. Let's I don't fight. remember. Um, let's see here. You know what that they said about everybody being threats? Yeah, no, Deliria is gonna yeah. be a coward and hide in the grass. How much damage has Lark sustained? Oh, he's been knocked in the body twice. Um. Um. You might want to hide in the grass, that's... too. No, wait, you can't. Hide behind the rock. Hide in the bushes. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, Geraldus is going to be a moron and move up and start shooting this thing. Going to be a man. One, two, three, be a four, man, five. Hogan. Uh, wait, I got to go here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have to be in range. Be a man, Hogan. Um, so I roll one die be on a, a seven Hogan. up. That's seven. That's a seven. It location is strange hand. Okay, so I need a five up. Wait, critical hit! Ooh. Critical hit! So I uh, you hack off the monster's hand, spend one survival to treasure this moment and regain one permanent strength. Okay, can I you point wanna? can I point something out here? What? I you I hacked off the hand with a blow dart. Do you know what that implies? That is some that is one it, strong. The hand has to have been. Geraldus is insane strength. He is on top of that. The whole. On top of that, the the wrist would have had to have been turned sideways, super thin, and the dart would have had to pierce all the tendons to chop it off. Not to mention, the dart would have had to have been strong enough to be able to withstand the force of that happening. Oh yeah, and the bone. Don't forget the bone, ladies and. Ladies and gentlemen, I am not a medical professional. On... Say that again. But apparently this just shatters on super dense locations, even though it survived that feat right there. <laughs> but anyways, um... You Hits said the skull, you shatters. Card... Hit, rips off a hand, no problem. How does that work? Did you discard a card from the AI deck? No, I have not yet. Then I will do that. Uh, sp spend oh, one survival like... and gain plus one strength? Think... Oh, you're damn sure I'm doing that. That's permanent strength, by the way. <laughs> permanent strength. That is... Treasure that moment, Geraldus. You earned it. Well, it's on camera, so it's gonna be treasured. It's also got... Also, the fun part about all of this is that, um... It now has lost hand. So now it's gonna be, um... A monster it ten. Doesn't for anymore. And hey, uh, Ferris didn't get knocked down during this turn, so there's another victory. Yay! It's the uh, tide's turning in our favor, everybody. Anyways, um, AI it's cards. The monster AI turn. Size up. Random threat in field view. Of view. Oh, it intimidates. Uh, the only threat yeah. in field of view is me. Uh, lead draw this. Uh, turn to face and roll a d10 on a four plus. The soft mon. So I'll suffer brain damage on. Oh wait. You're, you're the monster controller now. I am? Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Uh, uh, please, please be a three or lower. I can't control the dice, man. This is why the title of your channel is Servants of the Dice Gods. Because we are humble servants to the dice. It rolled a one! That's a one. That's a one. And uh, he, yeah, he tries to make you... Uh, he gives you the puppy dog stare after losing his arms, but it does, hand, but it doesn't mean anything to you. He no, he just stares me down, and I just flip him off. He's <laughs> like, "No, screw you, lion." Anyways, um, that lion I had a. Uh, I think I I that shuffle. Kid... Let's look. Let's look. Flipped over, and then we shuffle. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it immediately shuffles. Yeah. Alrighty. All right. So AI now, deck. that was the lion's now... turn. Okay. Uh, so now it is our turn. What are we going to do? Um, Let's, where can uh, Deliria move? Um, I don't want to take too much damage, so I'm just going to keep hiding in the tall grass. Um, I don't mind if Lark joins you. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna you're gonna trigger the action to make yourself not a threat. Yes. And then what is you Ferris gonna do? Him. Also, by the you're way, no remember threat. monsters okay. ignore terrain. Oh, they do. All right. At least I think... Do they ignore impassable terrain? Oh, oh! when a monster passes over this, archive the terrain. Okay, so yeah, they ignore it. So it would get destroyed, basically. Yep. Uh, 
Actually, I don't know what to do. Honestly. Run towards the bushes. I don't want to get any... Stay out of range and Quickly, run towards the, the bushes. bushes. Safe haven. Meanwhile, Geraldus is just being a total badass and is going to shoot the thing again. He's being a ninja. Eight, that hits. It's an eight, that hits. And the ear. ear. So on a five Sorry. up, it hits. That's a six. Or wounds. It's right. Wow, Geraldus is pulling his weight. Pulling, putting in work. Thought it wasn't gonna be great when Ayu swapped him, swapped Adenar out for him, but uh, that's uh, he's uh, proven his worth today. Monster controller is now a lark. So what is the AI card, my good sir? AI card. Claw. Uh, claw. Closest target facing in range. That looks to be Geraldus. Yeah, move him up. One, two, three. Turn four. him over. No, 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 no. Put him right here. That way we can that's stab fair. his butt. That's a fair. I guess that's true. Alrighty, go but, ahead and um, roll the dice. Anyway, rolling the dice. That uh, two is fours. a four and a four. So uh, both, those both hits. One of them hit, hit location. Alrighty, the first one is. That's going for a it while. It is legs. <laughs> legs and legs. And so, legs. Yay. Well, so he's knocked down. Okay, for once, one of my guys got knocked down. That's a shocker. Also, um, uh, Bloodthirsty is in play now for next turn. Yep, uh, can we, did you, okay, there we go. Yeah. Alrighty, uh, it is now the survivor's turn, and we got some work to do. One, right, then. uh, who's gonna go first? Let's, I can go first. Okay, just stab and him in the butt. Here, attacking him with founding stone. Two hitting on seven. Oh, two hitting on six is because the accuracy bonus for hitting the blind spot. Right. That is a six it and mattered. four. That's one hit. Hit location is soft belly. So you're going underneath. Okay. Um, go ahead He's and like, imagine like just like sliding in between its legs and slicing him. Basically, it's that one scene from Transformers where whatever that guy's name goes under slides underneath, black out with a grenade launcher, and just pops his head off. Except uh, it's with a knife and a lion. About, but I'll believe it's cool. Rolling. Damn it! That's a one. Boom, 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 boom. Ah. Well, I mean, it. Well, I mean, it didn't. Well, I mean, to be fair, it didn't have a failure effect. Fair point. <laughs> uh, Deliria is gonna do the same thing. Uh, Quickly, she has... Deliria, do what Lark could not. Lark is too scared of the lions to be able to hit. <laughs> Uh, uh, that, that is a two six hits and an eight. I both, both plus, hit plus one accuracy. That was an eight. That's all right. We got straining neck and beast chest. Which would you like to do first? One second. I'm having some trouble setting this thing to an eight. Well, it was an eight. We know that already. So. Yeah. Uh, straining neck or the beast it. chest. Uh, um, we're, we're gonna do straining neck first, because that can't possibly have a bad thing happen. All right. So, uh, founding Roll stone, uh, I need to, I need a seven up. Yep. That's a two, and now two. that fails. And now the beast chest, uh, I need the seven chest. up here. Got the eight, okay, it doesn't right. fail. Yeah, all right, that's another damage. Alrighty, this is getting oh interesting. God. Uh, Ferris, what's she yeah, gonna do? Hi down now. Wait, you can hide Ferris in the bushes! Is... Hide in the bushes! Hide in the bushes. <laughs> Jink! Somebody say Jink! No, she's like, it's the sound of her diving into the bushes. Oh, I thought you said Jink, and I was, like, I was about to make a Dark Angels joke, but, nah. And Geraldus is okay, just anyways. sitting there like a madman. Just like, uh, hi. Kitty, I didn't just take off your hand. Please, please, please don't hurt me. <laughs> I, okay, your your voice, um, the um, your audio kind of stuttered, and it actually made it sound like it was Geraldus actually like stuttering. 
So for once, anyways, it works. Um, bloodthirsty. bloodthirsty is bloodthirsty prox doing basic attack. I believe your Geraldus is now the monster controller in view in the field of view. He gains an, I believe he gains an insanity because he's being targeted. Yep. Uh, go ahead, and I will roll the. Um, Gotta roll the dice, and never look back, and never think twice. Because the dice gods hate us. Oh, I saw one! Oh, there's a one! Oh, it's only one hit! My natural ability to roll ones is coming in handy, folks! <laughs> You're like Will Wheaton in d, d Better than my descent game last night when I kept missing literally, I missed like four attacks in a row. Anyways, uh, hit location. In the arms! Arms. That works. Oh, the lion. Please don't kill Geraldus. What's the card? Anyways, that terrifying roar. Not oh. this again! Blow. Okay, uh, let's start with Geraldus. Good thing I have that insanity. Uh, <laughs> two plus. Think, uh, think I'm wait, 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 whoa, 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 hold up. Higher than the target's courage. Yeah, my courage is only one, so I take the insa I take the insanity. Uh, Deliria okay. takes the insanity. Now, what about uh, okay, Ferris? Rolling for Ferris. You knocked Oops, me I over knocked again. Over again. Sorry, sorry. I need to start rolling in a different direction. Yeah, you're um, fine. Um, and Ferris now Lark. Damage. If he Lark. rolls a one, I'm gonna laugh. He's eight. Buddy. You take a you take an an eight. A, lose the insanity. And now it Takes is the, the damage. Everyone gets knocked back six. Oh, uh, here you do um lark first. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Collision. Collision. Move the other way. All right. Collision. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's like right against the wall. Yeah. yeah. So then I flip and go right there. Then yep, Deliria. And Deliria. I'm not going to collide with that, so I'm just going to move back here. No, she's not flipped over. Uh, so now also, basic attack for the survivor in range. Uh, that would either be um, Lark three, or Geraldus. Or one, Deliria. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's, either, it's anyone except one, Ferris. Two, Right. I think we should. It, it I honestly, be, you're right. this sounds. This is gonna sound crazy, but I think we should go after Deliria so that way Geraldus can come up on him. Lark it's can your, come in. It's your decision. Yeah, good honesty, point. Because you're the monster controller. Yeah, let's do this. Deliria might get killed here, but we got to take this thing out. So, uh, basic action: two so dice. Oh wait, it you're wouldn't have been. Her close. Uh, never mind. I think never... you're putting it closer to Paris, but that's fine. That's yes. the point. Uh oh. Uh, uh, that's that's those both hit. All right. All those hit locations. Hold them bones. Waist and uh, body. No, she's knocked down, and yeah, she's knocked down. She had a founding stone. Down. It's okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, wait a minute. All right. All right. Okay. Bloodthirsty. Because I think taking right, the insanity props. still counts as taking damage. Probably yeah. Yeah. So it is our turn. Uh, wait, uh, yeah, Geraldus stands up. I will move him in first. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, damn, he's out of range. I don't know what to do with, with Ferris, man. Uh, let me see here. I could, I could go in the bushes. Uh, go, uh, how much health do we have left on this thing? We have three health left on this thing. Stab it! Okay, stabbing it. Uh, Mission to stab, um, lion rump, go. Three damage. But no, the, the, you're not in the blind spot, so you don't get plus one accuracy, unfortunately. I know, but I'm, like, stabbing it in the side of the rump. Yeah, fair I point. Know. Fair enough. Three speed, go. Hang on, sevens. There's a nine, there's a five, okay. there's a ten. All right. So two hit locations. Oh, oh you gotta be kidding sake. me. Oh, for f sake. I swear this dagger is a terrible weapon. Honestly, I think it's pretty it's good. A but, terrible uh, decision. Attacker is doomed. Cannot spend survival until this card is resolved. Um, Forms basic attack. Basic uh, action. 
Yay. Rolling two dice. Two up. Uh, okay, that's two hits. Or two, that's two hits. Rolling hit locations, please God. Please God, Ferris, don't die. Waist and legs are the Three. ideal positions. That's the arms. Arms waist. and waist. Ferris. Uh, waist is like. Already took damage on waist. That's severe injury on arms. Oh boy. You, the blow and split. You, you have cheated death three times with your with the characters. I'm still getting knocked down though. That's not good. You're cheating so death anyways, though. Holy sh. That's not. That is not good though, Anthony. That's I know it's good. not good, but it's amazing that this has happened already like five times. Like, jeez. Anyways, Lark, move forward here. I'm wondering if I should just throw Chuck. Do it. Just huck the founding stone. Do at it. This point. I think it might be. I, okay, I'm spent. Archiving founding stone. Automatic crit. Hit location is. Um, White lion is knocked lion down. Is not, that doesn't do anything. Lion really. is knocked down. Lion is knocked down. You don't. Uh, you, so that doesn't do anything because uh, you you it cancels the effect. And um. So what? that was caused damage. So we shuffle this and remove a card. I already moved a, removed a card. Oh. Okay, so there's two. So then we sh no, 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 wait, wait, no, time that. out. You removed a card, but then we reshuffled because of damage, so that removes a card, I think. Does it? Uh, let's look it up. Back no, in that. I don't, think it... I don't think it does. I thought it, it just did. Just shuffle the discard card. Let's. Uh, where's the damage? Uh, wound the monster. Here it is. Um, if the AI deck that is empty, say... okay. So these two cards were in the discard pile, correct? Well, what did you just do? Okay. I. Don't know what I did. Okay, so these did two cards were in the discard pile, correct? Yes. Um, when a hit location is wounded, remove the top card of the AI deck without looking at it. You did that, right? Yeah, I removed the top card of the AI deck because this card was on top. I then removed it, and then those two flipped over. Okay, um, if the AI deck is empty but there are AI cards in the discard pile, shuffle the deck to create a fresh AI deck and remove the top card. Yeah, on a crit? No, read this paragraph here on Wound the Monster. Wound the Monster, when a hit location is wounded, remove the top card of the AI deck without looking. If the AI deck is empty, but there are AI cards in this card, to get fresh to and remove the top card? Yes. Wow. So, one card is removed. I did not know this. Okay. We're down to one. We're down to one. So if it shuffles, okay. So if it shuffles because it's already out, and it, so, okay. If it reshuffles because of damage, you remove an extra card. If it does, if it reshuffles because of something other than damage, you don't remove a card. Okay. Oh, would you look at that? Shit. Okay, I just noticed this. Look at the look on the tools on the side of the screen and click the two swords icon. That's how you open oh, that. That's how you open that up and close it. I was barely paying attention to that, but anyways. I just noticed. Mm -hmm. Um. Anyways, it is now a uh, monster turn. Uh, wait a minute. Basic action. Bloodthirsty, bloodthirsty procs. Okay, basic action. Closest survivor, closest survivor in field of view, in range. It's either Deliria or Ferris. Let's look. Um, since it's facing, since it's facing Ferris, I would imagine it would be that. Is it? Does it say facing? No, it doesn't say facing. Um, I think. Um, in field of view, though. In field of view means that anywhere except the blind spot in range. Do we want. Do we want to flip a coin? No, no, let's do Deliria, because Deliria will get targeted, gets the insanity. And, and admittedly, it's your choice because of Monster Controller. Yeah, so White Lion is going to do that. Okay. Uh, targeting, it's targeting Deliria, so he should get Double ones, hey guys? Oh, I saw two ones, damn. Two hits. Uh, only please two don't, hits, just don't roll, roll body, and, and we're good to go. Roll hit location, roll hit location. Arms and head, okay, Arms we're good. She's knocked down again. Uh, that's the bots, uh, now the AI. Please don't be terrifying more. Okay. Closest to facing in range. Okay, so yeah, it's attacking Deliria again. Oh, no. Well, I actually would have preferred terrifying roar. Come on, roll at least a one. Why would you prefer terrifying roar? That would mean the enemies would be farther in range. Farther away. 
Uh, uh, not necessarily hit. because of the way it moves. Um, oh, I need what legs and weight. Oh, wait. Head had an armor, so I wouldn't have taken a damage there. So head, waist, and legs are preferred destinations. Arms. Okay. Legs um, and uh oh, legs. arms. Uh oh, arms. And arms. Severe, severe injury. Please be a ten. Severe injury. Arms. Kila! <laughs> oh, ten. She just knocked down. <laughs> okay. How does this keep happening? Our guys have cheated <sighs> death like five times. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, it's our turn. I already know what this okay. episode's gonna be called. Oh boy. Um, I'll tell you I after we're done recording. Down, I get up again? Yeah, we I got, both get I got up. a title for you, Anthony. Yeah? I got a title for you, Anthony. Call it Tub Something. Uh, I was thinking... I was thinking more cheating death and hiding in the bushes. I was gonna call it Tub Thumping because of just the number of times you've been knocked down. We'll fi I'll the, figure it out eventually. Lyrics. You you guys know what the, the video's called. That's... Well, we'll deal with it later. Um, let's see. So, so I'm assuming fine. you roll three dice for the dagger. You're rolling three dice because I'm attacking with Ferris. Uh, that's a ten. That's one hit. Um, yeah. Actually, yeah. Okay, that's go ahead and roll that wound. On a, wait, what's the strength on the dagger? One, so on a seven up. A seven up. <laughs> That's a five. Fucking God. Perform basic action Perform targeting basic action. the attacker. Sorry. Yay. Why does this keep That's a two. Okay, oh, so it's... you roll two hit locations. Two hit locations that keep picking up red Waste, for some reason. Waist and legs are preferred for you. There's body twice. Two bodies. I think you only suffer one critical, though. Okay. Yeah, you only suffer one critical. I remember that part. Please be a ten again. Eight. It hurts to breathe. Suffer it's minus one rip. permanent. It hurts to breathe. It even hurts to breathe. Suffer one per minus one permanent speed. This injury is permanent and can be recorded multiple times. Game one bleeding token. So you had a minus one speed penalty permanently. Now I want to look something up here. I think bleed's temporary, but I'm. This, it does say this is permanent. So. Yeah, there's a card for that. Here. Here's your impairment. Broken ribs. Minus one permanent speed. Oh uh, Ability impairment. Whatever. I oh. gave myself the permanent token. Well, I already marked. Oh, oh. Would you look at that? Whoa. Yep. Beautiful. It can remove if you want me oh, to. Oh, oh. Remove. Okay, put that back. Put that back. Because then for yeah, Geraldus, does where's the strength token? What? Because remember, I had that plus one strength bonus. Right, yeah. Okay. Plus one strength. And now, uh, that was your... Okay, so now Deliria is going to try the same stunt. Probably you want to oh, move to yeah. the want to move to the uh, blind side. Oh yeah, good point. The, the blind spot. Yep. First, because I made that mistake. Before. So. Okay. Six. Well, it wouldn't have mattered. There's a nine. Nine and a one. Okay, so I uh, so I need to hit on a seven up. I need yes, it. Paul. Seven. Seven. Okay, that's out. But we have to hit it one more time though. No, because now it's just stuck with basic action. Oh, look, we have two guys here. Uh, Geraldus, or do you want to try to go for the killing blow? I'll try and go for the killing blow. Lark wants to try and go get over his fear of lions. He's got he's got fisted tooth, though, so that's all he can do. Two dice, with. hitting on eight. <laughs> There's one. It's a nine. Please don't be the trap card. That's one hit, though. Please. Oh. Soft belly. Please, God, let There's this, no failure please, effect. God, let this happen. Uh, so that's a, um... So you have plus please one God. luck, so you crit on a nine or a ten. Please, God, let this happen. 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 Ten, you critted <laughs> to kill it! Crit. Uh... Crit.
gain one random white lion resource. Let's see what it is. Yes, I just imagine Lark just sorry you kicks the lion, knocking it off its feet. It's a curious hand. If you gain this a random survivor, when you gain this a random survivor, it gains plus one insanity. Well, um, how do we determine this? Wait, what? How do we determine the rank? When you gain this, a random survivor gains plus one insanity. You know what? Uh, I will have I will roll random number generator on a one. It's um, okay. Um, what's R N G? Okay, so how about let's see. So let's just go. Lark is one. Geraldus is two. Del Deliria is three. Uh, Ferris is four. Okay, sounds good. It's four. It's Ferris who gets the insanity. Okay. <laughs> Well then. Now let's go to the White a, Lion page to see what happens. What a, what a mess this was. Um, dang. the first time the White Lion is deceited, add the catic or catery. How the hell do you pronounce that? I think it's what's catarium. Catarium. Settlement location. Here, I'll dig for that one. Against the following effects, I gain, we gain four basic resources and four White Lion resources. Wait, whoa, 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 hold on. Uh, where do you see this? Uh, then, uh, gain uh, the rewards under the showdown white lion. Four basic and four white lion. Okay, so let's go ahead and deal these onto the table. So for the basic resources, we got a hide. We gotta, we a gotta skull. find the, uh, add the caterium. Yeah, I already did. We got a monster Caterium. organ. Oh, well, that's where that is, okay. And a broken lantern. That's scrap metal. Hey everybody, Anthony here, jumping in. Now, the original section where we did all the post-game stuff ended up taking about an hour, so I'm just going to save you the time and write down everything that I thought was noteworthy. Uh, so first off, everybody that came back from the mission had a weapon proficiency, with Lark becoming proficient with spears, Deliria with axes, and Geraldus with fist and tooth. Ferris will explain what happened to her in a minute. Um... But she, before what happened to her, she told a story about a giant butt fighting a monster. Uh, that was uh, that was actually kind of funny, but again, that, I can't seem to comb it out, so you're not you're not gonna get to see that. Uh, the symposium um, innovation was made. Um, there was another two other innovations that were made that we'll get to in a moment. Uh, in terms of gear, we constructed a bone axe, a rawhide vest, uh, rawhide gloves, uh, king spear, and stone noses, and then. Uh, in terms of the next mission, the survivors that are going to be going are Adenar, Deliria, Lark, and then a new survivor, Mika, who was one of the unnamed survivors that we picked up in the fir after the first story. Uh, and then the last thing of note here were, was that the intima intimacy event triggered three times. The, um, two of them, which were with Adenar and Deliria, and then Mika and Geraldus, were both successful with Adenar and Deliria giving birth to a boy named Artelis, who ended up getting the Tinkerer skill. And that triggered the Protect the Young innovation, which basically allows us to have a higher chance of preventing somebody from dying during childbirth. And then Mika and Geraldus gave birth to a baby girl whose name we have not decided on yet, but if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments. However, the third one, which was the first one we did overall between Lark and Ferris, unfortunately, Ferris passed away during childbirth, so... And the child didn't make it either, unfortunately, which caused Lark to gain plus three insanity and the immortal uh, disorder. So anytime he's insane, he just takes only brain damage, which that situation was unfortunate. So that's why Ferris does not have a weapon proficiency because she unfortunately passed away. But uh, also that of um, Ferris dying unfortunately triggered the Graves innovation, which I don't remember what that was. I honestly don't remember what any of the stuff does, but you'll get to see most of it in the next Kingdom Death video, which at the time I'm recording this, I'm not too sure when it is going to be. But again, I just compressed down about an hour of video into like, what, um, probably like five or six minutes, I don't know. So yeah, I'm just going to leave it there before I start rambling about whatever. So despite the fact this was yet another long haul for a video, albeit this one wasn't too bad, about an hour and 15 minutes. Um, hopefully you enjoyed what you saw here today. Hopefully you can look forward to more Kingdom Death in the future. And I'm actually recording this the day the Yu-Gi-Oh! video went up, so I, that's been doing pretty well. So expect more of that. Um, and yeah, that's really all I've got to say for this video. So once again, hopefully you enjoyed. And if you did enjoy, consider subscribing. I might be asking about that or talking about that a little more just to try to push the channel forward. 
I really don't like bringing it up because I always feel like that well, it pressures people into doing it, but I may have to do it in order to try to keep the channel moving forward. So if you're already subscribed, sorry, you got to hear that 10 million times. If you're not and you don't want to, again, sorry, you have to hear that a million times. I'm just trying to do my best to grow the channel. So with that being said, uh, that will do it for this video. Peace out, y'all.